Welcome everyone. Hello squirrel. As the recording of this Tuesday, March 26, 2024, I am feeling pretty good today. Not because what I have to do that is very, very stressful. That is a, this is a day that I do not look forward to that I dread the entire year. Tax day. Where I have to pay Uncle Sam, send out a cashier's check later in the day. I have an appointment with my tax advisor, pr proprietor, preparation person, whatever they're called. Now, yesterday, I spent some time printing out my write-offs. I end up writing off flights, rental cars, gas, travel expenses, things like that, camera equipment, and whatnot. Now, when you write something off, you do not get all that money back. As far as the way I understand it, that comes off the total of the income that you made. So you're not getting all that money back, but it is going off the back end in some way. Again, kind of a novice. That's why I print everything out. You know, all the everything that needs to happen when I hand it over to the person who's going to prepare my stuff it makes it a little easier for them. I can kind of get in and out. Now, my appointment is at noon in about an hour. At three o'clock, D23 Expo tickets go on sale, so I need to be in the queue for that. See how the day goes, I'm inviting you to join me. Also, this is the first time I've worn this shirt, probably since late last year when I've lost a bunch of weight, gained a bunch of weight back. I would have never put this on in the last couple of months and felt comfortable in it, and now it's fitting, fitting pretty good. Nonetheless, join me, shall you? It's 137 days, give or take a day, I think it's 137 days to my birthday, which is August 10th, 2024. I will be 50 years old and I'm on this Fit by 50 mission. Been doing the treadmill, been doing light weights in my home gym, starting to get a little stronger, starting to see a little bit of difference in the mirror. Something I would notice, probably something that does not show to others, but I'm feeling pretty good about myself. So 137 days, I will hopefully have accomplished my Fit by 50 routine and been dropped a lot more weight have a little more definition in the muscles and be ready a month after that to run, and I use that term loosely, to finish a 13.1 mile half marathon run Disney event at the Disneyland Resort. I believe there is a 15 minute pace you have to keep up with. And I think I could do that by walking briskly and, about, and jogging probably a quarter to a half of the race. I think I could do it before the balloon ladies catch up with me. If you know, you know. I didn't know at first, but I've learned since I first announced it. Here's the official email I got from D23, the ultimate Disney fan event. They don't call it the expo anymore. They call it the ultimate Disney fan event. It's almost time. Now I am a D23 gold member. I think I pay about $100, $200 a year to be that. And that gets me access to purchasing tickets before the general goes on sale in two days on the 28th. So today, at 12 p.m. Pacific time, that would be 3 p.m. Florida time, I can purchase said ticket. Now, it's very confusing. So the dates are August 9th, 10th, and 11th. On Saturday the 10th, I'm assuming the Disney Experiences Showcase, that's the Parks panel, will be happening on my birthday. So I'll have a good time out in Anaheim for my 50th. And these are the prices. So I'm going to do the three-day at 297 and what that ends up getting me is access to sit at the Honda Center. They also have this for a grand where you can sit right up close to the stage. But I think the Honda Center will have good seats even kind of a little farther up. You can also do one day, two day, and three day. Now, if I did not want to go to the panels, it's 209 for the gold member for the three day. So for about another $100, $90, $88. Yeah, $88. Are we doing the math correct on that? I could just, I could sit and I could have a guaranteed seat to watch all the panels. It's going to be a lot of fun. All right, so hopefully at 3 p.m. I can have my taxes done and I can, I can get in, get in the queue. It is an event I always look forward to. I know not everyone gets hyped about D23 Expo or the Ultimate Fan Event. I love it. I love the camaraderie around being a bunch of, around a bunch of other fellow nerds who not only love the Disney movies but also the Disney parks the cruise lines, the hotels, DVC, everyone conglomerates, just engulf, is gonna be engulfing Anaheim. And then shortly after that, will be haunt season in September out there, HHN, 
Oogie Boogie Bash, all those kind of things. Man, not scary farm. It's gonna be a good later in the year, and it'll be nice, because if all goes according to my plan, I'll be a little, in a little, a little better shape. I'll be able to handle the activities a, a little bit better. And I won't be, getting, won't be getting winded and whatnot. And I'll feel good about myself. Also, I've been wearing these on clouds for about three weeks now. Really like them. I'm usually a Sacconi guy, or Sockini guy, but I've been pronouncing Sacconi for most of my life. But my ankles feel a little bit better since I've been doing the treadmill and stuff in these, and my feet feel a little better when I'm working out in these. So, so far so good wearing these. So I'm gonna kind of switch back and forth. But I like these. These won't be the only pair I buy. I'm probably gonna buy another pair or two before I end, end up doing the quote unquote run Disney event. Finish, the fin crossing the finish line event. Yeah, I'm being pretty realistic about this and no way am I gonna pretend I can run without stopping the entire 13.1 miles. In fact, I was gonna do a 5K and a 10K that same run Disney Halloween Disneyland weekend, but they were sold out, so I went with the 13.1. I'm just trying to, to keep it, keep it, reality check just gonna finish just gonna do just gonna get to the finish line that's what i'm hoping for i, I know i know my strength and weaknesses and, and running that far is not one of them today is my day according to wawa 24 ounce coffee here i went with something called a fat free irish cream put a little bit in there nothing too much didn't do any added sugar as well however might be my day for the taxes if all goes well. I'd cross my fingers, but I'd probably spill the coffee because I have the camera in the other one. But it is not my day for lids. There's no lids left at this Wawa. I, I need some coffee when I'm getting my taxes done. I gotta, I gotta concentrate. I also got all my printouts here and the, all the info they need. And I have an entire other bundle of previous years because they, they compare. I've been going to the same place the last couple years. And it's 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 pretty pretty simple when you walk in you just kind of hand the stuff especially since i have everything kind of printed out ahead of time all the different documents and then they compare it with last year's and all that so it's pretty fluid but i like having someone else do it that way i just know i haven't made any mistakes if that makes any sense and just like that two hours went by two very stressful hours got home in my golf cart now mini marge it's about 2 15 Countdown's on here, 45 minutes until D23 tickets go on sale. And I have already gotten a message back from the IRS saying, the Internal Revenue Service has accepted your payment. Thanks, Uncle Sam. Got a spot right over here next to the Columbia restaurant. Nice. And even though I already had the one large coffee, after all that, I could use another one just to savor the flavor. A second large coffee of the day. I had the one from Wawa, and I'm gonna go to Starbucks and get another one. It's like a, a big weight off my shoulder once I know that the, the amount of cash has now been sent over. Also, in the past, I have always had to send a cashier's check and was never told well, I knew you could, but I was never informed the exact details of how to send in through where they just take the money out of your account. So I have it done for that. So a little less stressful than years before where I would have to take a cashier's check, take a photo of it, send it priority mail, also write down all the info, you know, just, just have a lot of notes making sure that if it was to get lost, I had proof of it going and all that. But now I have already sent it off. They have taken the money sent the thing saying that the that uncle sam himself has approved of the amount that was sent and i think that's it i think the the whole weight is now off my shoulders for for another year now for the next couple weeks because usually about a month in i start getting stressed again about starting to put away money for the next year but the next couple weeks i can be like i don't have to think about any of that so you, you got a two months two two weeks to a month where you're just kind of kind of breathing easy and what i've always done over the past four five maybe six years maybe even a little longer than that but i kind of just basically have a rule to myself where no matter whatever i make throughout the course of the month take that month and i take 30 percent i just take 30 percent not quite one third but close to one third of everything that I make goes in a separate, not my regular savings, but a separate savings account. And then when you get done with all the write-offs, 
and all the what you made and then what you have to pay the government usually that 30 percent after the write-offs is a little less than that i'm not quite paying 30 percent it's pretty close but i usually will have a little bit to give back to myself almost like i'm paying myself back not only a couple percentages less than 30 percent but usually i end up paying after the write-offs like 25 26 percent give or take maybe a little more than that but it's less than 30. so i would highly recommend if you're kind of doing what i'm doing and you're self-employed and you're making you're making a moderate income you want to definitely put put away 30 percent and then that way you can have a little bit left over you're not really stressed. like i always get really stressed about the process and the number crunching even though i had everything all dialed in and the paperwork all filled out it still took about an hour and 50 minutes to two hours to get everything figured out and ready to rock so i'm glad i'm glad that's over but at least i'm not stressed about having the money i do have the money saved because if i did it i would be very very stressed out so at least that level of stress is non-existent at this point so to, i just for my sanity i've just learned always put money away never never wait till the last minute and then have to dig and go into debt to pay if possible just take what you make and then take a cut of that each month and put it in a separate savings my my advice to you if you're doing that now as i'm standing here walking over to get, get a starbucks noticing that over here i was noticing i was looking for cool but didn't really see the gator anywhere but right here in this green thatch right here kind of disguised is the lake reinhard gator known as cool cool the gator is like kind of hidden over in the, sh the shrubs kind of nestled and, and hidden almost in disguise so you got to be really really careful that uh the you have to pay attention for the for the gator ended up you know being up right here on the on the lakefront because he is kind of incognito and hidden round two this time with a lid ah it's a good day Glad that's over. We'll take a little stroll around the lake here. Hopefully I have tw about 25 minutes until the queue opens. Well, the queue is open, but before I can buy tickets, over the little valet area here by the Celebration Hotel. Do not, however, Want to walk underneath that? That would be bad luck. It would guarantee I will not get D23 tickets. I want good luck on my side. No walking underneath random ladders. Be cool to take this to Anaheim in August. Like an extended Mr. Toad mobile. I don't know. If it, first of all, this isn't mine, so I don't, I'm not allowed to drive it. But if I was able to borrow this, probably get a lot of looks making a cross country trip in this thing. What kind of gas mileage this gets? Getting excited about D23, can you tell? Still a long ways off, but yeah. Some of the animals that can be see ar seen around these parts. Imagine if a wild hog came running out of these woods. Ooh, be frightening. A really great view across the lake here. Nice little stroll. Gonna be relaxing the rest of the day. No plans on going anywhere other than back home. No parks, nothing like that. Just gonna enjoy the rest of the day. <sighs> Uncle Sam got what he wanted. I'm all paid up for another year. Resting on the root, well not the roots, but the, the trunk of this cabbage palm is a lizard. Gotta move very slowly. There's a lizard right there disguising himself, almost like camouflage on the cabbage palm. He's gone now, he went around the other side. But I think I'm gonna sit right here and I'm ready to get my, my tickets for D23. Change my mind, I think the rocking chairs would be a little more comfortable. And they're in the shade right here. The other place is in the shade too. Those crows go by, lots of crows. Yeah, I'm gonna grab one of these seats right here. Rocking chair tucked away. Be at one with my thoughts. Yeah, it's getting serious now. Countdown's on. T minus 10 minutes. 9 minutes, 31 seconds. Countdown is now on. 1 minute, 37 seconds. 
give or take. Curious if it's gonna immediately let me into purchase the tickets or if it's gonna put me in the mobile queue where you have like the guy on the timeline. So we'll see what happens. Keep you posted. Cheers. Given the given the phone, good luck to get the the thing that's good about this year's D23, in the past, when it comes to the panels, especially the parks panel, which is the biggest one, everyone's waiting for the, the announcements of what's going to be coming to the parks and the cruises and DVC, the parks presentation, they may have changed the name, but it's basically the all-encompassing of what the future is for entertainment on property, you know, as far as new, new rides and attractions. Before... They didn't have it at the Honda Center. This year it's going to be at the Honda Center, which means it's going to be a huge stadium. So if you get tickets, you are guaranteed seating if you can get into the queue and purchase tickets. 30, 34 seconds. Where before, you had to basically get there at like 2 in the morning, lay and sleep, and just kind of get comfortable on hard concrete, which still no guarantee of getting into a relatively small auditorium of five, ten thousand 10,000 people. Honda Center holds way more people than that. 13 seconds. One last swig. Let's go, D23 gold members. Three, two, one, boom. I am now in line. I'm now in line for D23, the ultimate Disney fan event presented by Visa. When it's your turn, you have five minutes to enter the website. Yeah, it's like the little, it's the little moving thing. As shown here, it's like a little person there walking in a green timeline. And that will continue. Hopefully walks very briskly. It's moving. It's moving. I got into the queue over an hour ago. I Probably an hour and a half. So about 1.30. Eh, 1.50. Closer to 2. It was closer. So it's an hour ago. I've been in the queue for an hour. Right when I ended up leaving the place we're doing my taxes which was three now, I got out of there a little bit before two, not a few minutes before two. So I've been in the queue for a while, and now it's just just updating now. And now I'm in line, I was in the queue, now I'm in line. Okay, that was taking a little while, so I decided to get in the cart and ride around. There's just two vultures here, vulturing. What are you waiting on? What are you, what are you both doing? Yeah, it's been nine minutes and the little moving person has not moved at all on the, the queue. Oh, look at this. Classic truck alert. Town decorator alert. That's what it says on the side of that truck. Just to give a little update, it's 3.15. 15 minutes in after getting into the queue an hour before you were supposed to at 2. My number in line is... 16,595 people in front of me. What the heck? That's a lot of people. Is this, man, okay. So one stressful situation, but the taxes out of the way. And now another one, could this be any more stressful? Kind of doing the math on it. I would imagine that once you're in there, you could probably buy more than one ticket, two or three tickets, maybe four, I don't know what the limit is. So if everyone buys two tickets each, 16,000 people, that's 32,000 tickets already sold before I can even get in line? I'm doing the math correct? Ugh. Honda Center probably does, it, probably Honda Center might sell out. Never know. It is now 337. I haven't moved in line. I'm still at 16,595 starting to get a bad feeling about this. I don't know if this is going to end well for me today. Thinking positively, but yeah. This system is a little, little, uh, not the best system. Not the best system. Easter approaching soon. Still haven't moved. 341 right now. 16,595 people in front of me in line. Has it moved? All right, back home now. I think I have to kind of accept the fact that there is a possibility I might not get into the Honda Center. 
because it hasn't moved at all. Even though I am a gold member, but evidently there are multiple thousands just like me. Can't even imagine the standard non-gold members that are go on sale tomorrow and the next day. What kind of a chance they have. Still have hope, but man, I haven't it hasn't moved. It's 346 right now. Dang. Alright, this was posted nine minutes ago. It's 48 right now, 10 minutes ago. Currently aware of technical issues. The guests may be experiencing with the ticketing. Hope to resume the pre-sale shortly. Thanks for your patience. That's how far I've moved. At 3.48 p.m. Now I'm just hoping I could get into the convention itself. I mean, the parks panel would be awesome. But hopefully the convention does not completely sell out. You can always watch the parks panel and the other panels in the convention itself on the stream. I still have hope, but yeah. I don't know what's going on. Oh dang, the plot thickens. Now 1.19 is California time. It is 4.19 right now. They are happy to announce they are resuming the pre-sale. If you're currently in the checkout progress, please refresh the page. You should be able to Complete your transaction. Thank you for your patience. I am not in that one. I still have 16,595 people in front of me, but the little green walker is moving. Okay, another update. Now saying the line is paused. 3.33 p.m. Florida time, 1.33 p.m. California time. The line is paused. Does that mean it's going to boot me out? See what happens. Update. It is 518 Florida time, 217 California time. Ticket update. Due to overwhelming demand, limited tickets remain for today's D23 Gold Member pre-sale. If you're not able to purchase tickets today, additional quantities of most ticket types will be available during the next pre-sale, Wednesday at noon which is tomorrow as I'm filming this. <sighs> Yet another update. 549 Florida time. 248, so a minute ago, SoCal time. Ticket allotment for today's D23 gold member presale has almost sold out. Queue has been paused. I am not currently checking out, so this does not apply to me, will be able to complete their transaction. If you're not able to purchase tickets, quantities, or most ticket types will be available tomorrow, the pre-sale, for those who are Visa card holders. Ugh. This is really just a complete waste of time. All right, after four hours and 15 minutes of being in line, three hours and 15 minutes of the Queue being open, I got in an hour before. 3.11 p.m. California time, 6.11 p.m. They alerted everyone. D23 gold members pre-sale is closed. So I'm just kind of SOL today. There are two other days of the possibility of purchasing tickets, but that's how far I made it. Super glad that I am uh, paying the extra money every month to, or every year to be a gold member. That really helped out a lot. It kind of is what it is, but... All right, better luck tomorrow and the next day. That's a bummer. System's pretty messed up, but it is what it is. Yeah, definitely a waste of the second half of the day. First half of the day accomplished getting my taxes done, which I'm really, really content about that. Stress about that all year. And then didn't happen with the D23 stuff. I, I, evidently tomorrow can purchase because I am a Visa credit card holder. I can per try to purchase tomorrow. So I have round two of trying tomorrow. And if I get it, that's good. And then on Thursday, I can try again. So I only have, this is only the day one of trying that. So I'm still pretty confident I'll probably be able to, to get a ticket. But I was really thinking being a gold member 
would have helped today, but that proved to not be the case. The pre-sale for D23 Gold member did not work out for me, so then tomorrow, because I have a Visa card, I can try again, and then on Thursday, I can try just with the general admission because I'm a D23 member. You don't need to be a gold member, even though I am. So it'll work out. So for now, I'm gonna hit some weights, hit the treadmill. If you wanna follow along with my workouts, I do little Instagram stories. They disappear after 24 hours, but they're posted over on Adam the Woo ATW on Instagram. If you'd like to keep along with those. And I'm gonna work out a little bit. It's been kind of a stressful day, so. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. The vlog is over.